My YouTube subscribers, my Lyft and Uber friends, it's Monday, I'm about to start uh, driving. Um, some intel that you really, really want to get from Uber and Lyft and where you can actually take a screenshot and put it next to the other screenshot side by side and get a very good idea of what's going on in that place that you parked right now after you've dropped off that trip. What I would do is if you jump onto the um, Uber app which i'm doing right now the rider app right i'm not getting any intel there. there's no cars in that area where i'm right now nothing i won't see any cars so i then switch over to um the 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 passenger app right the black one you know it and what i can do is i can quickly see wow Look at all the cars swirling around. Now, many of those are flying fast up and down the 101, but I can see individual cars like right over there, right, um, in that neighborhood. Uh, where do I position myself in proximity to those? That's the one bit of data. I take a screenshot of that one. Then I immediately hop over, right, to my um, Lyft driver app. And guess what? Nothing. No data on cars. What do I do immediately after that? I then immediately switch over to um, the Lyft uh, passenger app. Um, and what I want to get there, again, is I want to see, hey, what's going on? Now, there's a massive, massive saturation of cars right at that very moment right now. And the time is 3 p.m. So guess what's going on? Firstly, I get to see exactly where all of those cars are. Not many Uber cars as you can see but a ton of lift vehicles right these guys are all situated around the auto malls there's a big big auto center that sells bentley's nissan's toyota's every car brand you can think it's massive it's called Raznak, and there's a couple of others around there and a ton of ton of ride share drivers will duke it out right there in thousand oaks right but it looks like way more lift drivers now if i take a screenshot of that one right i can hold it up if i have two phones it's much much easier i hold up this screenshot right of lyft and this screenshot of uber right the passenger ones and i can see quickly where are all the cars where are all the lyft cars where are all the uh, uber cars where do i want to be oh hey what on earth is going on there okay saturday night two o'clock in the morning all the clubs come out high saturation of lift cars high saturation of uber cars does look very busy there or maybe there's a concert going on at staples they're all coming out they're all down there hey i'm close by let me jump into the mix that's a guaranteed winner right there right so you always want to know are you following crowds big masses crowds or do you want to individually uh, move a little bit away from other cars i like to have both the phones in the car so i can hold up the two screenshots side by side and get some super super valuable data immediately right that's just how i do it uh, is it difficult to do it with one phone yeah you can run four apps on one phone at the same time but it's a safety issue and you're going to be toggling too much between apps i just like them side by side uh, my iphone and my samsung two different carrier plans i got the one on at&t i got the other one on um uh, gosh, not cricket. What is it called on boost mobile and that pretty much helps me all throughout Los Angeles So try that out. I Hope you are on both uh, Platforms, you know 80% of the drivers are if you're only driving on uber Make sure you add lift to it. My links are beneath the video if you're only on lift make a hundred percent sure you add uber to the mix so that you maximize your efforts over a five six seven eight hour shift Drive safe, my friends. I'm super hot here. It feels like a sauna. And uh, wishing you an amazing day. Bye-bye.